it is officially that back to school after a holiday season. These transitions are honestly some of my favorite because it's a great opportunity to reset and refresh, look at things that are going well, and think about things that you might want to change. Now, today I'm gonna to be talking about grading. In fact, I'm gonna help you change your grading for the better. Today I'm gonna to share three things that you can stop grading all together. to give you a little more space in your grade book and a little more free time on your hands. Now, whenever I talk about grades, I always like to remind people that grades are important, grades are valuable, and grades truly are a key piece of what we're doing every day, but they are only those three things if you make them that way. Grades are only important if you put the importance on them to your students. Grades are only valuable if you are helping your students build that understanding of what their grade means and why it matters. So grading is truly, truly a key piece of what we are doing, but that doesn't mean we have to grade everything. This is me giving you permission to not grade it all. All right, graded task number one that I'm taking off my plate in the new year is practice sheets. It seems so, so easy sometimes just to grab them as they turn them in, right, wrong, right, wrong, slap a grade on the top, but we want our practice sheets to stay just that, practice. Students need to be able to practice a new skill in a low stakes setting often. That way they can develop those skills. Now, if you have the issue of students saying, is it graded, is it graded, is it graded? I start to use the language of it is a check-in and I remind them that this task is gonna show me what they know connected to the skill so I can decide who needs help and who is ready to learn something new. Changing the language around your graded tasks and your ungraded tasks can help change how your students are looking at those assignments. Another graded task that you can take off the table is homework. Now, a lot of us feel very strongly about homework in a lot of different directions, whether you are a homework lover, a homework hater, we do wanna make sure that you, either way, are not a homework grader for a few different reasons. Homework, first and foremost, is designed to be special practice and extended opportunities for your students. Now, because it is practice, we don't wanna grade their practice. I don't want you grading my practice on the basketball court when I'm just now learning to play basketball and your students don't want you grading their practice when they're just now learning about equivalent fractions. I also think homework is an awesome tool to show families at home what kind of skills students are working on at school. This sometimes means that the families at home end up doing a little more of the homework than we would like for our students to have being brought back into class with them. That means that grading homework is not gonna be always accurate of what your students can do. The final graded task that you can take off your list are any kind of exit tickets or exit slips. No matter what you're calling them, we wanna make sure that these are an opportunity for students to again do a quick check-in on their skills. They need to be able to check in in a low stress, low stakes way. That way you can truly see who needs your support and who has mastered your skill and is ready for more. Take those exit tickets off of your grading to-do list, but use them as an assessment tool. I always grab mine as my students finish them and just sort them into piles. Needs help, got it, truly ready for extension. It's a quick and easy tool that's gonna tell you about your students without having to put a grade on it. Now that you have less grading on your plate, it means you might actually have time to do some things for you, like maybe even reading for pleasure. How to Love Teaching Again by Jamie Sears, the not so wimpy teacher herself, is available April 4th, 2023. We are so excited to share this book with you. It is a beautiful collection of easy to implement tips and strategies that are truly gonna help you love teaching again. And if you're spending less time grading papers, you might have time to really dig in to things you love doing, like reading a great book. The pre-sale link is now live. You can go ahead and pre-purchase this book. So when it is available on April 4th, it is gonna be shipped right to you. Talk about making your life a little bit easier. You know, that's what we're always here to do. As the season of resetting and jumping back into my school year continues, I am excited to grade a little bit less and I hope you are too. My goal is to keep finding ways in my day to make my life a little bit easier and you know, I'm always here to share those ideas with you guys as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see all of our videos. We put out new content every single week and as always, we hope you guys have a not so wimpy day. Bye!